guys, so a little rant that I'm gonna go on. I just got back from Target. I got a bag of stuff right here. Basically, I kind of revamped all of Adriana's like bath stuff that I use on her. Shampoo, body wash, detangler, all that fun stuff. I'll show you guys what I decided to go with in a second. A little backstory, and I'm gonna try to make this not that long. Um, I was on Facebook today, and I know Facebook, I really hate going on there because I feel like every time that I go on there, it's something bad, and I just, I hate going on Facebook. But of course, when I went on there today, there was something about Johnson & Johnson's that there was a bunch of really harmful chemicals in Johnson & Johnson products. And I really enjoy using their Johnson's Ultra Calming, like nighttime bubble bath for Adriana. And I've also been using the shampoo slash conditioner mix. It's one bottle, but it's shampoo and conditioner. And I switched to that recently because she needed something for the back of her hair because her hair is really long and it tends to get tangly and I didn't want to use my conditioner on her because it's you know it's for adults and if it gets in her eyes it's gonna sting so and it's mine's also for color treated hair so I wanted to try that with her but then I seen the thing on Facebook today saying that there's a bunch of harmful chemicals in it it's really bad for kids like some lady sued them for 1.7 million dollars because she like got sick from using the products and a bunch of lawsuits are happening with them now some people were saying that it was true and some people were saying that it was false so it's hard to kind of you know say if it's true or not but there was more people saying that it was a true statement than it was a false statement I, so i did a little bit of my research and just to be extra safe i decided to buy her all new products and not use johnson and johnson's anymore i just don't feel safe using it if you guys have any information that could potentially make me feel better about using it for the time i have or just in any insight about the johnson products did they revamp their formula did they take the bad stuff out and everything that's on the shelf now is it is it okay to use let me know but I'm not sponsored, I just wanted to tell you moms out there about an app that I recently found out about. It's called Think Dirty, and I will list it down below also, just so you guys can see it. It's a free app, you basically can scan any product in the store, and it's going to tell you if it's a dirty product, meaning there's a lot of harmful chemicals in it, or if it's a clean product, and it'll give you a green symbol. So I basically spent like 30 to 40 minutes in the baby aisle, scanning a bunch of different products, and P.S. don't take your baby with you to do that, because I did that. That was a mess. <laughs> she didn't want to be in the stroller. She didn't even want to be helpful at that time. She had just woken up from a nap. She was hungry, so that was really difficult, but I got through it, <laughs> and I ended up finding the best products that were on the shelves at my Target. So I ended up scanning basically everything. I scanned Aveeno, I scanned the California Baby Organics, I scanned Baby Ganics, I scanned just everything that had to do with like the natural stuff. Um, I also did scan the Johnson & Johnson's and generic brands and stuff like that and it's a world of a difference, you guys. So I ended up, I'll just show you guys the entire haul. I ended up spending around $60. I had to get some other like things too. So I ran out of her baby bottle cleaner and so I got more of that. I used the dapple wash. This came up as a clean product, you guys. That's awesome. Um, it's just a plant-based soap, which most of my products in my house are organic and plant-based. So that makes me feel good that I've been using them because I've always just kind of wanted to use them because I like the smell and I love like the way that they look. I know that sounds funny, but I also, they're plant-based so it makes you feel good about using them as well. And then I found out that the products that I actually was using are green, which is they're clean and they're good to be using and I've been using them so that's really, really awesome. Um, I got PJ some more deodorant because he ran out so he uses this if you guys are wondering. He uses Dove Men. And then I got some bananas because I'm going to start making smoothies and I run out of bananas like crazy because I just... I eat bananas a lot. Um, her pacifier that needs to be washed. Um, she ended up eating one of these Happy Baby organic things in the store. She could feed these to herself, so I just gave it to her and she was perfectly great after that. So it was just because she was hungry. And then as for the stuff that I found, so I ended up going with Honest Company. This was rated, I think, a two or a three, and that's out of 10. The reason why is I think that this has um, a fragrance added or something. I'll have to get the exact information, but this was the best one that I scanned out of every single 
thing that was for babies, every wash that was for babies, every, you know, shampoo and conditioner, this was the best one that came up, was this one. The other ones were like a four, which isn't that bad compared to Johnson's. Johnson's was an eight. So if you're comparing it to that, even like a vino was a four. And if you're using a vino, that's not half bad. Still doing more research on a vino products. So it'll tell you that on the app. But this is what I decided to go with. This is the Dreamy Lavender. Ultra Calming by Honest Co. Honest Co is Jessica Alba's brand. She created it and I've used a couple of their products. I do like them. This one just smells like lavender. They had a sweet orange vanilla, but I feel like that wasn't like the best for a body wash and a shampoo. I felt like the lavender one was better, but I did end up going with the Honest Face and Body Sweet Vanilla for the body lotion because I felt like this would be more of like a lotion scent and then the, uh, the shampoo and conditioner and body wash or whatever would be better in the lavender scent. So that way she's like smelling like the orange vanilla but we're washing her in the ultra calming lavender. And then, cause she usually does take baths like before bed. And then I ended up getting her the sweet orange vanilla detangler as well, because I was using the Johnson's detangler in the scent strawberry. Didn't even know, didn't even think about it. I'm trying not to think about it. I'm trying not to have too much mom guilt about it. I'm just kind of going along with whatever this is. And just, Glad that I found out about it. She's barely used it. I actually more so used the Baby Ganix. My hair looks really short. I have it in a bun. For her bubble bath and her detangler, I was using Johnson's. So we X those out. I threw all of those products away. Even if they were full, I was like, screw it. And I went with some better products. So I'm really excited to be using these. Again, not sponsored. I paid for all of this myself. And I just kind of wanted to, I guess, feel better and I just wanted to get her some more clean products. Baby Ganix came up with a five, a four or five. So I don't know, I was kind of shocked by that too. Um, next is finding a sunscreen that is around the three range. It's really hard to find something with like a one. Like I didn't find anything that had a one. But if you guys have any amazing sunscreens that are like organic and paraben and phthalate free and whatever, let me know down below. Currently using the Baby Bum one, and that one's not too awful, but I'm actually looking for a spray one. I feel like there's a lot easier. So if you guys have a spray one that you guys are using that is organic and a healthy ingredients, let me know down below because I do need to get a new one. You guys, doesn't Adriana's outfit look so cute? I am like obsessed with it. It's all princesses. Hi, sweetie. Whoa. It's like all the princesses. So cute. Well, not all of them, but I just think it's the cutest little outfit. I think it's like a PJ outfit, but she's just been wearing it today. <laughs> there you go. Hi. You look cute in your little outfit. I'll link it for you guys down below if you guys are interested in it. I got it from Baby Gap. Baby Gap. <laughs> We're watching some new, new little baby bum. Hi. Oh my gosh, she gets these little cracker things everywhere, you guys. It's so gross. Oh, be careful, sweetie. Careful, you okay? He loves this monkey thing. <laughs> you haven't drank all your water yet. You need to finish your water. You're almost done, baby. Drink your wawa. Oh my gosh, and I got this new cup from Starbucks. Isn't it the cutest? These ones you can't break. So this twists on, it doesn't just pop on, and it's more like plastic. And then this is like a matte kind of metal material. I have such luck with breaking those cups all the time because they're like they're so easily dropped. Because you're carrying them everywhere and like with kids and stuff, they're so easily dropped and they end up just breaking every single time. Even the plasticky ones like that I have, the ones that are like, well they're up here, I'll show you. So like the pink one up there, I've broken so many of those. But these plastic ones, like this matte black, and then the one that I just got, they like, they don't break. They're, they're invincible. So I ended up just getting that one because I broke one recently and I've just been using this to drink my water.
So I wanted to share with you guys something that I got in the mail that I think a lot of my viewers would be really interested in. I do get packages sent to me for PR in the mail uh, quite frequently and I don't always share everything because I'm kind of picky and I like to try the products first before sharing them with my viewers. I do give my honest reviews on everything. I've said I hated things. I've said I just wouldn't buy them. This is something that I wanted to share because I think it's really cool if you have kids or even just like yourself to use this, I'm going to use this. I think it says kids two and up, so I wouldn't put this on Adriana because she's still a baby, but when she's two and a toddler, I think this is going to be so much fun. So this is a company called Sea Star Sparkle, and they did send me a few of their products, and I was very pleased and I used them today. It's very hot today, so I did put on this bad boy right here. This is one of the gold glitter sunscreens. So these do come in different colors. There's a rainbow one, a pink one, and then an orange one. So the pink one obviously has pink sparkles, which obviously transfer onto your skin when you put the sunscreen on. They have different things. They have like an after sun lotion that you can put on an after sun gel. I'll show you a couple of the other things that I got. Different varieties of products. The rainbow one is rainbow sparkles. The one that I got, the orange one, has gold sparkles. So I thought gold would just be, you know, the basic color that would be, you know, could go with everything. And so gold, I was really happy that I chose this one. The water resistant 80 minutes, which is pretty basic for most sunscreens, but this has nourishing ingredients in it for your skin. It's going to make your skin feel really soft. It's paraben free. And it also says it's not tested on animals and it's non-zinc, nano zinc oxide. So I'm sure that's an ingredient that's not so good that's in most sunscreens. So I think this is really awesome. As you could tell, it's very kid friendly and you can put this on children two years and older. So I did put this on. It blends super nice, you guys. It's very easily blendable. And I'm not just saying that. I was actually super skeptical when I was putting this on if it was gonna blend because when I first put it on my skin, it's very thick and it didn't seem like it was gonna blend it's really white and so when I was rubbing it in I'm like oh my gosh did I put too much like this is completely white this is not rubbing in as I kept rubbing it completely went into transparent and was just all over my skin no white was left and all it left was the gold shimmers so I was really surprised by that and I that's why I'm like I have to share this because I really liked that you know it didn't leave any white cast it wasn't that horrible sunscreen smell and it leaves you with like a super kind of shimmery just glowy look and i really liked it so i got that and that's what i actually used today i don't know if you could still see actually i still have a little bit of sparkles i put it on about let's see if i can show you guys this way i don't know if you guys can see the sparkle yeah probably not so there's a little bit of sparkles left. My camera's not wanting to focus. Adriana pinched me. <laughs> so that's what that mark is. But that was like four hours ago that I applied that and it still has a little bit of sparkles on there. Also, I did a test wash. So if you're wanting to wash it off and you don't want the sparkles on your skin anymore, they completely come off when you wash your hands or wash your body. Like immediately there was no sparkles left. So that's another thing. I've had lotions where I've washed my hands like 20 times and I still have sparkles left over, whether it's like a makeup product or lotions or tanners that have sparkle. I've always had that issue. This does not have that. So again, I'm not being paid to say this. I was just really, really pleased by this lotion and I love that it's good for kids. Back to another vlog. It is the next day and I didn't vlog too much yesterday, but I did want to include that because I wanted to share with you guys about the Johnson products and what I had got. So PJ is home today. He is off and we have a couple of things planned. <laughs> what did you make, babe? Eggs Is it hot? With eggs with meat and cheese. He made himself a little uh, egg scramble over here, and he said he's gonna make me a grilled cheese, but I guess he just forgot about that. Adriana's down here playing. Of course she's playing with, <laughs> hi, honey. <laughs> she's playing with the broken wheel, and not the wheels that actually work, so. <laughs> That's what babies do, they, they tend to go towards the broken things or items that are not theirs. Hey, look at this. This is like her favorite thing ever, but I think it's running out of batteries. I need to go get some batteries for it, or we might actually have some. Whoa, no, I'm sorry. It crashed into you. I'm looking pretty crazy right now. My hair is looking ooh, pretty bad. 
Um, but I got my coffee this morning, venti iced white mocha with all breve or cream, whatever they call it, breve. Uh, and, you know, just waiting on my grilled cheese. Street Outlaws. Are you watching your show? I, hopefully I can watch it. Why wouldn't you be able to? Sometimes it doesn't let me. I've never seen a phone do that. PJ broke his phone and he dropped it and it literally. <laughs> because the screen, so on That's these. That's why I don't understand because the with screen an Apple, sticks it's... out further than the actual edges of the phone. It's like a curved phone. So when you drop it on the screen, it's, it's inevitable. Yeah, so he it dropped sucks. his phone and it literally did any, like, worse than I've ever seen a phone do. I dropped my phone like a while ago really hard on a tile floor and it felt like face first kind of from like a high distance I was holding on Adriana trying to pick up my phone because it was ringing and then she like kind of swayed her hand and it made me lose grip of my phone and then I dropped it and so with mine I thought it was going to be completely like shattered and spidered out but it only did like I don't know if I can really show you guys maybe if I have the lighting you guys can kind of see it starting from like up there, but it's literally just a diagonal line and yeah, everything works this. fine. He did the same thing basically, but not really like that hard because it wasn't on like a tile floor like mine. And his looks like this. Like you literally cannot do anything with it besides call people, answer calls, and look at text messages. Like there's nothing, it, it looks horrible and like it just, tweaks out and like the lighting is fidgety it's super weird so <sighs> unfortunately he just has to get a new one but wait so you said that you can't get an iPhone you have to go get that phone again because you yeah so he was gonna go and try to get um, an iPhone because he was kind of like over that phone and the Androids are actually more monthly which is kind of crazy because Apple's like a huge thing but it was because it was the newest Android that he recently got and so he has to replace that one so he won't be getting the apple one right now at least but we don't know where we're gonna do that so it's, it's like it takes a while and then it's also like 250 bucks to replace the phone which i think is crazy because i was asking like what if is she gonna hit her head on that that's the thing like i don't like those rules because if somebody oh goodness if somebody got their phone stolen and they were leasing the phone and they had like a bunch like four hundred dollars left or whatever the balance was they'd have to pay that and that sucks because that's not fair because it's like somebody got their phone stolen they're what probably if you lease a car and someone steals but the somebody's car super leased. devastated about losing their phone but yet they have to come out of pocket hundreds of dollars like that blows like there should be a different way around that that's the only problem that i don't like but there should be a different way around having to come out of pocket that much money if you you know if a phone gets stolen the phone gets stolen all the time so i'm fine with mine i'm not gonna do anything with mine it works fine it doesn't bother me really anymore and my camera's good so i'll just fix it whenever i feel like it because i don't really want to go to apple in walnut creek and the weight's crazy so i got dressed and we were in the car we've literally been driving around for like an half an hour trying to find a track for PJ because he's going to be practicing trying to get a certain amount of yards in I think a minute to 30. He's going to be doing an agility test pretty soon for a job so I don't want to give too many details yet but I will definitely let you guys know more when we know. So the agility test is pretty soon I think it's like July 14th or maybe a little sooner than that. So we were trying to look for a track that he could run and kind of test himself and see what he needs to work on and like how much of his endurance he needs to build. So Adriana is asleep now in the back and we decided to just come to this grass field because we couldn't find any track nearby that was open. We went to my old high school. They completely upgraded their entire field and football field. It looks so fancy and so it's locked with cameras and all this crazy stuff. You used to be able to run on it when I was there but I guess it's completely different now. So we just couldn't find a track anywhere nearby but this looks a little bigger than a track so maybe it'll do him a little bit more injustice since it's bigger if he could run this then you know he could actually do the time at the actual track because this is bigger so he's stretching right now i'm just waiting in the car with her and then i'm gonna get my stopwatch ready on my phone and we're gonna time him hey 
<laughs> okay, vlogging that again. Adriana is awake from her nap. <laughs> PJ is peeing with the door open, so we're just gonna, you know, go over here. And we are back from the running. PJ was over 15 seconds, so he's just gonna have to keep practicing. He was a little shocked that he was over and not under, so all he has to do is just build his endurance a little bit. We'll probably end up going like every day and just practicing. Endurance, the great thing about that is that it can be built up like really quick, so if he just goes every day, like his endurance will build extremely fast. So that's a plus, and I, I couldn't do it the time that he did, so I was very surprised by it. But she fell asleep in the car. She's awake now had a good like I would say hour hour nap so that's a bonus she pooped that's a bonus I'm eating some lunch now she's probably gonna want to play with some for toys do it ow you're hitting me PJ's gonna tell you guys what we're about to do what what are we taking on right now we're going to <laughs> this is last take a piece of glass Put glue on dude's feet. <laughs> okay, you're explaining it horrible. You have no enthusiasm. So I have this piece of glass right here. It, obviously, it's see-through, but we are going to imprint Adriana's feet on this glass. We are going to cover her feet in Elmer's glue because it's harmless, so you can just wipe it right off. We're going to put her feet on the glass with the Elmer's glue and then take this sparkling glitter and pour it over the glue and her footprints will be or her feet print, no, footprint? <laughs> I'm saying this so weird. I can't even have correct grammar right now. Her footprints are gonna be on the glass and we're going to frame it. So we will have her tiny little feet at age eight and a half months, pretty much almost nine months, forever, and we'll be able to keep it and show her when she's older. Just a quick, super simple, easy DIY that I seen on Pinterest and I really wanted to do it. So, we're gonna vlog this, uh, wonderful okay, so thing we're about to, to do. Us. She's gonna have to lay down. <laughs> Whee! This isn't gonna work. <laughs> okay. Hey, Sarah, what, are, what are you about to do? Just glue her feet? No, you can't. Where's the glass at? You, she, right here. Someone needs to hold her. This is not gonna work. So hold, here, I'll hold her. You get her feet full of glue, and then step down on this glass. Okay, she has to be careful stepping on glass. You're not gonna let her put her whole body weight on it, door. It's so very sharp. She's not gonna touch the edges. You're insane. Okay. Come here, do. This is gonna be really hard with a crawling active baby. This is usually for newborns. Okay, let's go, let's go. Cause she's not gonna. <laughs> oh my God. Do, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna, not enough. I'm gonna have to get <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, where's the glass? Now get the other one. Okay, it's not perfect, you guys, because I put it a little bit too far over. We have the foot... Oh, I need to get my shoes on. Now that we have her two footprints, which it actually worked really, really good, but like I said, she's a crawling baby. She just started crawling. It's a little hard to keep her, like, completely still. So not all of her toes are on the second one, but we came out to the deck. Here we got pink litter. I chose pink because pink is cute. Here's her little okay. toes. We're trying to do this before the glue dries. Yeah, we don't even have the glitter open. No one knows how to open it. Okay, we're gonna have either. to do this quick. It's really drying. Come here. Come here. So this is what it turned out to be. This foot was a little bit harder because she had it positioned weird, but the first one was much easier. That one, we, it just kind of got a little bit messed up, but I think it turned out pretty good for us not knowing like what we were really doing. And the glitter that we used was kind of like weird and difficult to open. And we were trying to do it like super quick so the actual glue wouldn't dry. And that glue on picture frame actually was drying like really, really fast. I did not remember glue or Elmer's glue, it's fine. I probably wouldn't have just throwing it away. I don't remember Elmer's glue like 
drying that quickly in elementary school. So I was kind of surprised, but I actually like the way it turned out. She'll now have something for her little feet to remember. I may put like a sticker on there that says like nine months and she's about to be nine months, just so we remember like the date and everything. That might be a little bit cuter. Yeah, I think I'll end up doing that. Find like a cute little sticker and then write the date. But I should probably put the date, 6 26 18. That way I remember, I could put the sticker on there and frame it once it's dry. All right guys, that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.